Alright guys, I've actually already done an SSD install video. All we're going to do is take this solid state drive, this big memory card, and we want to install it in here. Yeah. 850 Pro, excellent. Very high speed, one terabyte. So faster everything, faster read and write speeds, less heat, less vibration, no moving parts. So now I've got to undo all these screws. We might fast forward and obviously open up this case to physically install the hard drive. See, this is great, a magnetic uh, screwdriver. Make sure you've got a plastic cup, something to put your screws in, you will lose them. These are the first set of screws. Oh. Am I missing a screw? Yeah. Just my luck guys, I was missing a screw. This silly sticker was over that. Excuse me. This is I believe for the CD-ROM. Yeah, so. Good, so they're all similar length. Yeah, good. So that just comes right out. Good. So there's your CD-ROM to read DVDs and CDs. And I've seen guys convert these also using this. They put this inside to make an extra storage because no one uses CD and DVD anymore. But yeah, very clever. So let's put that to the side. By the way, guys, I did wash my hands. ESD, electrostatic discharge. It is real. It is a thing. Uh, a mate of mine, he used to be a manager of a desk side support team and their computers and laptops they repaired uh, and the phones, smartphones they repaired always came back, 60% came back with errors so I'm just sharing a story while I'm killing time doing this 60% errors and he said no nah, this is unacceptable, what's happening? the guys didn't wash their hands and they didn't wear gloves so you can imagine they had some very unhappy customers. So he just said it very simply. Either you can wear gloves or you can find another job. And uh, one guy had to find another job. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find another cup. You know what, we'll put it in here. Just keep it all, yeah. Yeah, so now we're gonna pry this open. Plastic card. Let's see if this works. Yeah, good. Good. It's coming, it's coming away pretty easily. Good. You don't want to break anything. You don't want to be too rough. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. All righty. Wow. Look. Look how dusty. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a clean. Jeez, Louise. Here's the hard drive we need. So we've got to take out the battery to install uh, the SSD, it's always recommended, so there's no ESD, you know, zapping and damaging things. Look at this, here's a cooling fan, I might give that a clean too. Uh, where's the RAM? Uh, I believe that's the RAM there, I've got to be careful, I don't want to touch it. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. guys I went and put on some gloves some real gloves because I don't want to touch anything inadvertently also just to save time and camera that cooling vent was clogged up with dust I just gave it a scrub with an old uh, toothbrush an old scrubbing brush and I put a little bit of oil just a drop of oil on the cooling fan so it runs nice and uh, smooth uh, it's been pretty good but sometimes it gets a little noisy and uh, that's also a big part of this upgrade where I could tell my hard drive was failing so I'm gonna take out the battery now you have to disconnect the battery. I wish it had an easier design, but this motherboard is very nice. It's like Legos. You see, it's like Lego. Everything just clicks together like Lego. I love this motherboard. So Sony uh, 
did a great job and as I said I heard Vio is also doing a great job. Now I need to find another cup and we'll keep going. But yeah, so don't be afraid to have a couple of plastic cups guys. You don't want to lose your screws or put the wrong one in the wrong place. Okay, come on. A couple more. My battery looks healthy too. You, you'll know something's wrong when it's swollen. When it looks really thick and swollen. Now there was a guy who actually made a, um, his own Japanese video. Uh, it, it's just got subtitles on it. But it's an excellent video too, so thank you to him for making that video. And he, he shows how to replace the battery, obviously, what I'm doing now. And this should just click out. So, yep, I can feel it. Click. Can you see? Like Lego, just clicks in. Wonderful. And I'm going to give that a quick clean too. It's got a bit of dust. Bit of dust, yeah. And there's the technical specs, the part number. Of you. Yeah. Alright, so we'll put that to the side. Seems okay for now. Uh, and our bad boy here, our hard drive. So we've got to take this out. So I might move all this stuff over. So we can focus more on the star. And also, um, by the way guys, this does have an Intel wireless card here. So it's just a drop-in part. It's only, I got mine for I think $15, $12 or $15. It's plastic, you literally just clip out the old card and clip in the new one and reconnect the antennas. That's it. So, well worth that upgrade. The old Broadcom card uh, was not supported anymore for whatever reason. Uh, Broadcom just stopped making software for it, so it would continually crash and fail. So for such an expensive laptop, around $1,500, $1,200, depending on what country you're from, yeah, you would expect an Intel wireless card, or at least a basic wireless card with uh, Bluetooth. So, okay, I'll stop going on. I need to remove these screws. Yes, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. Uh, so these are very short screws here. I'm gonna move this over here. Some very short screws. One. Okay, two. I oh know guys, getting surgical, that's my style. I'd much rather be careful and do it properly and not ruin my beautiful laptop than to do it half right. There you go, just clicks right out there. Just clicks right out here like Lego, like I was saying, just clicks in and out. Beautiful one, it's got this tray. So we've got to take this old hard drive out of the tray and put our new SSD in. Here's a technical spec. A lot of people don't know, Toshiba dominate the hard drive market at the moment. Say to hard drives. SATA spinning disk hard drives. There is a spinning disk inside here. So when your computer starts to run slow, it's because that disk is wearing out. Not just because it's old. I mean, if you've neglected it and treated it here. See, that's what I meant. If you've neglected it and treated it badly, uh, if it's just worn out, it's just worn out. But yeah, it's that disk. So that's why SSDs are so uh, cool. And so high performance. Because this thing has no moving parts. Just a big memory card. Just like an SD card in your camera or your phone. Very nice. So no moving parts, high speed, very high speed. You know, uh, yeah, and the technical data, you know, we were talking about it before. So let's keep going. So what's happening is there's a side tray. So I've got to take the screws out of uh, the sides. There's even arrows. Again, I love it. I was I was so worried it would be more complicated, but as you can see, it just clicks in like Lego. All the parts click in like Lego. Awesome. All right, so I took the side screws out. This is like a sled or tray, as you can see. And here's the old hard drive. This is actually a hybrid, by the way. So Sony again doing an awesome job. Sony Vio. This is the spinning disk SATA drive, and I had a small partition. I think eight gig of SSD. It's just a small little memory card here, and that way it would act as cache just to help speed it up. 
that's all. So you can see, it's basically a replica. It basically mimics, the SSD mimics the traditional hard drive, SATA drive, so that's where this changed the game. You know, hopefully a drop-in replacement, just drop it in, and hopefully nice and fast. And this is heavy, you can feel the weight, the metal, and the spinning disc. This is very light, just feels like a memory card. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, that way. Excuse me guys, dummy proofed it. I was just checking, they dummy proofed it. See the holes? Excuse me, let me get the camera. See these holes? These holes didn't line up properly. That was a good fail safe. Excuse me, sorry guys, it's just a bit hard on camera. With these small parts. These holes didn't line up as a fail safe. So because I had it mounted the wrong way around, I'll show you guys now. And good thing I'm wearing gloves, so I'm not touching... Never touch the gold on any parts. You touch the gold on any parts, you burn them. You can destroy them. So can you see how this hole isn't lining up properly? See like that? It's not lining up properly. So that's how I knew I had it the wrong way around. So that's okay guys, you take your time, go slow. Don't be afraid to ask for help, but you know, if you're like me, you're doing it yourself. Go slow. And yeah, the mounting points, I think, make a bit more sense now. It'll mount this way. No? It'll mount this way. Yeah, that makes more sense. That way you can see the symbol, so... Yep, I'm just testing it out now. That makes much more sense. Yep, it all fits. And that way you can see the beautiful Samsung symbol, and it's all standing up right. So, okay, let's continue. It was meant to be a quick video. <laughs> oh, that's good. I get to share it with all of you. And especially if you've got this model, leave a comment. If you've got this model or a similar model, or if you ever owned a Sony Vio, or you have the new Vios. The new Vios, as I said, have been laid out with a very similar motherboard. Okay, last one. And we'll do the final tightening. We don't want to go crazy, damage anything. Just make sure they're nicely hand tight. Nothing's coming loose. Very good. Yep, they seem fine. We'll give that a test. Wow, even, even with the case, the sled on here, wow. Big weight difference, that's very heavy. Very heavy. So what happened was Toshiba dominated the market, for those of you who don't know, by undercutting everyone. And here's the moment of truth, meaning we'll, we'll, cl we'll click her back in. Click, yeah, beautiful, nice and tight. It's the way we like her, huh? Clean and tight. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Yeah, success. Awesome, nearly there, nearly there, guys. All right, so yeah, Toshiba undercut everyone by making cheap hard drives but also subpar low quality. So, Toshiba hard drives, you know, even your external portable hard drives, all your popular, your portables, external hard drives, um, internal hard drives like this, a lot of them are Toshiba, even if you don't know. Even if you've never opened your computer before. So, we need to get the battery back in, this gorgeous battery, nearly there. And we're just going to click her back in. Yep. Cool. We've got our tray, our cover. See, nicely, uh, nicely cleaned up. And we're going to put this bad boy back together. Try and gently click it. Yep. Make sure everything clicks back nicely. And just make sure it's all nicely fit. Alrighty. One, two, three. What I'll do, I'll bring it up to the camera just so you guys can see. Okay, how does this thing go back in? Right, this way. Okay. Oh, CD drive, CD ROM. Put that bad boy in. And then the final screw. The final screw.
That was a good fail safe. It wouldn't let me put in the final screw until the CD-ROM is in. Just, so, just to make sure. Yep. Yep, it's secure. <sighs> Thumbs up, huh? Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna turn this bad boy on. Yeah, Sony Vio. And I'll Samsung. <laughs> what a match, yeah? And I'll Samsung. Success.